Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on. This video is going to be all about making foliage, like stuff like vines, plants and all that kind of stuff. Which uh, are becoming more and more popular now. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Before we get into the video, make sure to join my Discord channel if you're interested in being a part of the community. Um, people throw up their re uh, spare resources and stuff like that if you're interested or you want like free things to play around with. Um, you can also suggest video ideas and all that kind of stuff so feel free to join if you are interested and yeah let's get right into the video my keybinds are going to be on the bottom right um, just as a heads up uh, if you miss if I miss anything specific but um, base the main basis with foliage is you simply add mesh and plane now with this plane you want to go ahead and kind of adjust the shape to get a leaf shape for it so I'm going to press Control R to add a loop cut down the middle. I'm going to kind of bring this out, make it longer. I'm going to bring these two vertices in like this and create kind of like a diamond -y leaf, leaf shape. Like so. Now you guys can create whatever shape you want. Some people even kind of make diamond shapes. Um, but depending on the amount of detail you want, you can go ahead and add more loop cuts. Select the edges and kind of bring these up. So you kind of have like a like a leaf shape kind of thing. Like this. And I can just bring this in here. And then if you select it all, face shade smooth. And now you kind of have this smooth uh, leaf shape. like this once you're um, satisfied with your actual model you can go ahead and easily copy and paste this so I'm gonna press shift D to copy and paste it I'm gonna rotate it so like the basis of plants is you kind of just work like this and then you can kind of if you select all of them and then select the end vertices for example press O for um, proportional uh, editing I believe it's called and then you can kind of bring these leaves up and kind of make a bit of a, a plant out of it it's a really simple concept you kind of just have to learn how to work with planes and then you get kind of these plants obviously you can mess around and put more detail in it it's kind of really a rough uh, a rough basis to it there are a couple of other types of foliage you can kind of create with this method you can kind of add a little cylinder I recommend going for a small amount of vertices and then kind of shrinking it down lifting this up and then resizing it so it's really small at the top and then you want to go ahead and grab your leaf here and then you can kind of create this small little plant like so it's a really easy way of making plants um, they're not incredibly detailed but obviously you can kind of add your own texture to these or um, change the shapes around and all that kind of stuff to develop more detail to it but usually you want to keep them this low like a really low poly count obviously because you're going to be copy and pasting them around your world um, quite often but another thing I recommend you guys do is if you want to add more detail to the leaves you can press K to get the knife tool and kind of cut these little triangles out on the uh, side of the leaves like this and then you can kind of select the faces delete them and then get kind of cuts in your uh, in your leaves which is a nice little uh, subtle effect another thing I recommend you can make stuff like vines if you go ahead and add mesh plane I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it I'm gonna bring it up and then you kind of want to create kind of this like snake shape just a really uh, uneven shape kind of like a, a vine 
stem, I think it is, I don't know. And then obviously shrink it at the bottom, maybe make it bigger at the top. And then you can kind of, I'm going to use the same leaves for the sake of saving time. But I'm going to go ahead and shrink these like so. And then if I copy and paste these at roughly the, the, the right spot, you can kind of create um, some nice vines really easily as well. I recommend you kind of uh, scale them down as uh, they go lower down the stem. A good way to do this is uh, select them all and then select a few or select the bottom two. Enable proportional editing and then press S to scale and then X or just scale it down. And then you can kind of shrink them as they go down like this and then you get these nice little vines. Another thing you can do using a similar method, uh, you can add mesh plane and then you can create kind of flower petals to make like uh, obviously flowers. So you'd shrink these inwards here and then you'd kind of want a, a round shape here like so. And then you kind of have like a rough petal here and then you can kind of copy and paste this like so and then you can add more loop cuts or whatever you want to do and then I can kind of bring these up to create kind of like a, a flowery shape make sure to uh, shade smooth obviously and then you can kind of put your flower in the middle or your stem or something like that some of these methods may be quite basic but you know a lot of people kind of overlook things like this you can even turn these into trees if you want um, or like palm trees or stuff, stuff like that but yeah you can kind of add mesh icosphere as like your little flower if you shade it smooth and there you go now these are some simple ways of making foliage really quick they're quite effective as well they look really nice really if you add your own textures to them as well they'll look even better but obviously you can kind of just yeah use default uh, materials in uh, roblox but other than that that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on and i'll see you in the next one peace